excuse me sir you're dead you just don't know it yet and by the way you're dead as well welcome back everyone and in today's video we are featuring the first tier 10 premium light tank as well as the first tier 10 with silver bonus yes this is a black tank so it gets 25 percent silver bonus and also it's introducing a new mechanic to the world war ii game mode and it's the gatling gun since we saw the trailer everyone was worried about this tank this tank is going to be toxic let's just keep in mind when i say toxic or broken it does not mean overpowered the term gets very mixed up anything that doesn't give you time to react is toxic anything that con can consistently do damage or outplay others are op so this tank is situational it is uh, very lethal in specific situation and completely useless in others but uh, it just doesn't give any one time to react and uh, basically if this tank catch, uh, catch you out you're dead not in every not in, not in every situation you can't just sit in the back and just worry that you're gonna get clipped so the tank has 4800 clip potential and you can deliver that damage in four seconds of course if you pan all your shots the tank does not have very good penetration it has a 75 pen 25 damage and it can delete a tank with 2500 damage in about two seconds and that's that's a lot of burst damage in a very very small window and that's the reason you just don't get time to react so this tank either you're deleting a tank who doesn't know what happened or you're bouncing the shots unbalanced toxic and also bad for the matchmaking because currently everyone's gonna run the tank and uh it's just gonna whoever wins the dog fight that team will win the game it is not as op or not as toxic as the weasel mark one in era 2 but from world war 2 standard it is the most toxic tank not not op like aviary or Tehran. the toxic just stressing that again so now coming to its scout capabilities or light tank capabilities the tank has the best concealment base concealment of 297 of any tier 10 light tank and it also has a respectable 410 view range. What this, that means is this tank can outspot any light tank before they can spot you. In addition, this tank does not need the fourth equipment slot like other light tanks do because they need to aim. They need to use their low penetration to aim for weak spots. This tank does not. And the way to use this tank is actually RBRT. If you aim, you might end up missing unless you're really, really close. But in a medium distance, it's just better to aim in third person and this tank also gives you the luxury you don't need perks like steady aim or you don't need muffled shot like another light tank because they can trace your tracers and it has its advantage but again it has bad penetration and the problem is it just doesn't give opponent time to react and leads to a frustrating overall game experience so what am i running on this tank for equipment i'm running stabilizer concealment optics sorry advanced concealment advanced optics and traction system not running the standard for equipment and for my skills i'm running bond leader rapid loading snapshot run and gun camouflage expertise situational awareness six sense designated target and uh, green thumb to be as sneaky as possible and then ambush tanks it is the setup is also listed in description but uh, as you can see, the tank, the gameplay is uh, you wait for opportunity and ambush, you might not do a lot of damage. It's just what was the mistake of this conqueror or what was the mistake of the demolisher? He was hull down. He wasn't being aggressive. All he was doing is trying to play hull down and before he knew it because he, no one can outspot this tank, he was dead. I was able to pen his side. And I could already feel what he what demolisher is feeling and because of its huge potential you can also do that to tier 10 you obviously can, cannot do to, to super heavies or anything that has armor all around but however you, even for tier 10 as far as heavies are concerned you can pen the british heavies u.s heavies and most of the or if not all most of the medium tanks and of course the light tanks and the side and back of most tds as well at tier 10 and of course you can do the same at lower tier as well 
So if it's an endgame and the super heavies are the only one alive or the tanks with better armor, you're essentially useless. You're as good as dead because you will not be able to do damage. You still do one damage if you don't penetrate, but that's just not enough. That's essentially 200 damage per clip. And if you do one damage for every shot, that in total you have done 2400 damage as that's the shell capacity of this tank. So in this game I was in Westfield, one of the better maps currently. It is difficult to get a good matchmaking because of so many T249 tanks in the game as you make a mistake you're dead. As I said, it's not as toxic as the Visa Nana 2 because th those tanks have penetration as well as the sp speed and hit points. This tank has one of the lowest hit points at tier 10 light tank. So if they can hit you, you probably will take on an average two shots and you will be dead. The tank has a less power to weight compared to other light tanks. That has around 40, this has 30. Uh, by the way, another light tank spotted, full health, he's gone, and then this other guy is gone as well. The, te the Gatling gun takes a little 0.5 seconds to charge up. So you do end up wasting a lot of shots because you are... you are. So it takes a while to start up, right? And when you stop, it takes a while as well. So you like waste some of the shells as well. So you'll never hit all of the shells, but I think even with 4800 clip potential, you can easily kill a 2000 to 2500 HP tank without issues as long as you're in a position where you can consistently hit. And this position will happen towards the end of the game. Or if a light tank, some light tank is yielding early on. The problem with this I have with this tank is this tank encourages the YOLO gameplay. You're fast, you have a huge clip, you just want to YOLO and that just ruins the matchmaking. That's the toxic gameplay of this tank as well. So either you wait, wait for the opportunity and the opportunity might never arise because one team is, has won and you don't have, you can't have an impact or so much impact in a game head on. You have to look for opportunities to shoot the side. And uh, what's going to happen is, for a newer player, they'll get bored just sitting here as you can't pen anyone, it's not a tank destroyer. So they'll just end up just charging, they will die, but they might ruin the game of one or maybe two tanks that are playing semi-safe. So let me know what you think about this tank. I did buy this tank as it was 60% off and a tier 10, about the bundle in fact. So will you be, will you, are you planning to buy this tank or are you staying away from it? And what do you think about the tank? Let me know in comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.